Hey everybody, welcome to Ageless Woman Cooking with Dana and Robin. Hey, hey! Today we have a busy woman recipe. Yes, and you know those days, you're like, oh my gosh, I haven't planned anything for dinner, I don't have anything thawed. Well, I want to encourage you to have a good quality albacore tuna in your pantry at all times. There's a few little things, if you just have them around, I almost always have some nice onions for cooking and stewed tomatoes, so a couple essentials. Well, here's how you can throw together a meal I call Mediterranean tuna. And the reason I'm calling it that, Robin, when I lived in the Italian part of Switzerland, both my landlord and my friend made similar meals using tuna and pasta, and I'm thinking, ooh, that doesn't sound great. It was delicious, and I've made it several times healthy, simple. Now, you're a grain-free girl. I'm, I modify my grains, but today, I'm gonna have one option with a brown rice penne instead of typical wheat, so this, this will be a gluten-free recipe. You can certainly use regular pasta if you choose. You've got a really interesting alternative. I have a couple of different uh, noodle alternatives that I keep in my refrigerator. Actually, one in the cabinet, one in the refrigerator. Some of you may have seen these Miracle Noodles. You can actually buy these online. Um, I also get them at the Asian grocery. They're not necessarily called Miracle Noodles. They're made with this, it's called the konjac root. It's a tuber. Uh, it's a high, high fiber. It's very similar, Dana, to the fiber that's in that PGX fiber supplement. Zero calories. It's all just going to go through your system. It's so, not yeah. going to break down into really... If um, you're trying to add fiber to your diet. Now, I like these even better. These are a little bit kind of, I would say, slimier would be the word. <laughs> They're not bad. I really like them. There's really not a lot of taste. But I like the kelp noodles. There is a trick to using the kelp noodles because this is eight calories per serving. Definitely less than the pasta. So you know, 200 calories for two ounces. Um, it's made from the sea vegetable. Very healthy for you, but there's a trick to making them. They're very, they're kind. I don't like them raw or even just rinsed, where they're kind of crunchy. If you put the, you cook your sauce or you cook your soup, and you then add these to your sauce. We'll have to set some aside for me while you're cooking. Let it cook in there and kind of stew up, and your noodles will become. Soft. So we're doing two versions, a more pasta-like version and a more noodle kelpy version. Kelpy fiber <laughs> version. I don't love that kind of noodle personally, but you know, everybody has different tastes, so I want to bring you some options. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get over to the stove and literally I'm going to just saute up these onions really quick in, we didn't talk about the avocado okay. oil. You know Robin and I talk so much about coconut oil, we are all about you getting it in your diet every day. But it does have a coconut taste sometimes, and we don't always want to have that flavor. Avocado oil is the other very healthy alternative for sautéing. Not olive oil, girls. Don't use that. So we're going to be sautéing with the, with the avocado oil today. Make that a staple in your pantry as well. We'll see you over at the stove. The first step at the stove with the Mediterranean tuna dish is to sauté your onions until they're golden brown in the avocado oil. When they're nice and golden brown, you can add in a little bit of minced garlic. Now, I like to get mine out of a jar. It's nice and convenient, so I used about two teaspoons of the already minced garlic. Let that brown up just a little bit, and then add two eight ounce cans of stewed tomatoes or one larger 16 ounce can of stewed tomatoes. Mix it thoroughly with the onions, and when that is all completely mixed, just start adding in that large can of albacore tuna. I usually cut it up a little bit in the can before I move it into the mixture. It just makes it easier. And completely combine that with the tomato-y mixture while, by the way, you're cooking, if you are using a type of pasta, again, we're using the rice the brown rice uh, penne pasta, and we'll show you Robin's variation with the noodles as well, but you could be cooking your pasta to al dente. Get that tuna nicely covered, and then next add in some diced olives if you like. In this case, we're using black olives, followed by we used an entire jar of capers, and let me tell you, those capers definitely 
make a huge difference. If you like capers, they are just gonna set off the flavor of this dish phenomenally. Once all those ingredients are well mixed, you're going to take your drained pasta. Now I only used six ounces of the 12 ounce pasta bag and mix it into your mixture. You know, how saucy you want it, how much pasta. I like to go light on the pasta, heavy on the protein and the tomatoes and all that because I prefer not to have too many carbohydrates. Now on the other side of the stove, Robin added her noodles. So talk about a little bit about your noodles, Robin. Well, you want to, I used the kelp noodles and I just pulled them out of the bag, the portion that I wanted, and I put it in the, the sauce, in the actual uh, tuna and the stewed tomatoes. And I just start, sauteing it around because you want to cook those through. If you don't cook them enough, they're gonna be crunchy and they won't be a good texture. So the liquid in that's in the sauce is going to cook them and soften them up. If they're still crunchy, then you need to cook them longer. Okay, so I have my little rice panay, brown rice panay, and Robin has her noodles. What are the name of those noodles These are again? kelp noodles. Kelp noodles. I'm gonna add a little bit of Grated Parmesan, because who doesn't love grated Parmesan? Red pepper, you guys know yep. me. Last time I added way too much. So again, Another really Parmesan. fast meal. Really fast meal for the busy woman. Couple things. What's gonna take the longest is sauteing the onions. So get those onions chopped up and cooked while you're doing everything else and opening cans and all that, because they do take about 10 minutes to saute, but simple, simple, simple. Let's taste her. Okay. I haven't had this for a while. I, I love when I remember good old recipes. Mm. Pretty tasty, very tasty. And I forgot to mention, to taste yours. we did not put any salt in this no. recipe because the capers, we put about three tablespoons of capers, and they're so, that you know, they have all the salt you need. That's Do you like it, that? You know what? The texture of those. My mind is opening. My mind is opening. And I think these could have cooked, those noodles could have cooked even a little longer but we wanted to get this like filming them. done. I like them. Mm -hmm. Consider it. Good. Okay, busy women, there's a quick meal for you.